Hi there, and welcome to the start of the journey into MYOB. We started the program Account Right Plus 19.7, and as I've explained earlier, you may have one of the other versions of MYOB as Account Right product, the Account Right Premium, Account Right, or Account Right Basics. As we go through, I'll be pointing out what will be missing in maybe if you're using one of the uh, smaller products. The first thing I need to do is to open my company file. I'll just click the top option there, and it comes up with a screen asking me which file I would like to open. There are two currently shown here. One is Clearwater, and the other is my company file. Clearwater is a sample company provided by MYOB, and it's a great area to play in. If there's something you're not sure how to do, open Clearwater, and you'll be able to play around in there, see and test how things work before actually doing them in your own company file. We're gonna get straight into my company file. Click and open. And the first thing that comes up is a thing that says enter your user ID and password. Your user ID, the default will be administrator, and the password, there isn't currently one on here, when you first set it up, depends on how many people use your computer as to whether you want to restrict access to yourself or other people. You can have several users if you're using the AccountRight Premier product or the AccountRight Plus product in future. The passwords and the user IDs tell your users to make sure they look after them. You can actually restrict what your users can get into, and we'll have a look at that in a later video. There are no passwords set up here at the moment, so we'll just click OK and we'll move on. The first thing that will come up is the list of command centers. There are eight command centers, one each for accounts, banking, sales, time billing, purchases, payroll, inventory, and the card file. We'll go through each one individually. The first one we'll look at is the accounts. In the center, the accounts list. To the left of that, I can send it to the accountant. If my accountant has MYOB's professional uh, package, he can use my data file to create a tax return and all the other sorts of things that accountants do at the end of the financial year. It also connects to a thing called the BAS link. If I need to submit a BAS every quarter or every month, MYOB is capable of creating the forms for me. All I have to do then is to take those forms and submit them to the tax office. I can recall journal entries. For those of you wondering what a journal entry is, it's simply a non-cash transaction. Since most of your transactions will involve cash one way or the other, then we'll be doing most of the stuff through sales or purchases or banking. We won't worry too much about recording journal entries. To the left-hand side, I also have the ability to transfer money between one account and the other. It's a fairly quick and straightforward method, which a lot of people do use. At the bottom, on the right-hand side, I've got the company data auditor, which provides me with certain information which allows me to look at who has been doing what. It also shows me how up to date I am in managing my company. And I also have an area known as business insights. At the moment, there's not much to be looked at. We'll come back to those and look at them later on. Down the bottom, it says transaction journal. Basically, a simple list of debits and credits that I've put through with every single transaction. Across the bottom of the screens, I have a thing called the to-do list. This is an aid to my memory, things that I need to do today. I also am able to find transactions, and I'll be going through exactly how we do that later on. There are lots of reports that are available. I need seven basic reports uh, to run my business. You may need more, you may need less. And it also provides me with some analysis tools. 
which I can look at to make sure my business is running.